Hi everyone and welcome back to the Paperless Movement YouTube channel. Today I'm sitting on my MacBook here and you know I'm checking out the new Todoist boards. And I'm not as excited as maybe others are because Todoist to, to me is still just a tick off box, a tick off list. I showed you this in another video and the struggles we have with all the different task lists and so on. To me all the things that I personally need to do goes into Todoist. I just need a today view in Todoist and the synchronization, the two-way synchronization to my Google Calendar because I'm actually planning out the time management on my Google Calendar, it's ticking off the boxes in Todoist. So they recently added the boards view to make it a much more project management worthy application. I'm a bit worried about this because I would rather hope that they focus more on the personal task management. Of course, they have collabor collaboration in there. They have this other app called Twist and um, they maybe want to, you know, step up the game there. I really hope that this won't mess with the overall app. But now let's have a first look at the board view. So we already got the upcoming view recently where we have all these uh, times up there. That's already something nice. So we can really plan out, you know, we can just drag around so we can move around things in here. That's already something great to plan out the tasks. Um, and now we have the board view and how you actually can access the board view is pretty easy. We just create a project like this one and then we add tasks. So let's, this only works in project view. It's not possible to work in to do in today view. The reason why it doesn't work is that we have actually to add um, sections. So when you go down there, you see you can now add a section or you can go here and add a section this way. So we can say, you know, not started. The typical things you would do in a Kanban board. Um, in progress and finished or completed okay and now we just move them over here and leave this one without a section and now we can just come up here click this and just say it even says new you can uh, use shift v or you click here so let's test shift v if this works yeah it works and now we have the different sections here and you see no section i can just move it over so no section will just disappear and we can organize our tasks this way so not sure if this is really uh, useful and if there are so many teams using only to do it, I, I certainly it steps up the game in the team management thing and where you all working together on tasks. However, for my personal task management, I don't think I will use this at all um, because I only work on my today view and on my focus today view. And have some someday maybe and follow up actions here. So if you subscribe to this channel, I make sure that you will figure out what this all means here and how I set up my um, to do is set up here to actually get things done. Also in my inner circle, there will be in depth explanations about this as well in the future uh, future coming. So stay tuned. But now let's keep focused on the board view. What else we can do so we can add more sections which will then be reflected when we switch back to list view as a, as a section. So this is the same way they implemented it as Asana did it in the past. So in Asana we had the same thing. So we were able to add task one, task two, task as I did in Todoist. And then um, I was able to add sections like not started, in progress completed all right and then we were able to move this around as i showed you before and then we can able to, we can switch to boards here and you see it works exactly the same thing the same way the issue i have with this it is so limiting we are we are limited to the sections and it's the same in to do is we are limited to these sections so there's nothing else i can do except these 
uh, using the sections to build up my Kanban board. board. Let's go to Notion to compare it. So I just created a demo workspace with Tom's Notion demo so I can show you easily some features inside Notion. And what I will do, I will just add a new page called um, Tasks and this will be a table. And in this table, I will also add task one, task two, task, as we did before. So now I have the option to actually use the properties. So when we go back to Asana, we also have fields here and we can add this, you know, things like this, but we can't use these fields to create boards out of it. And in Todoist, we don't even have properties. We have uh, tags and things like this, but there's no property as far as I can see. There's no property at all. But in, in Notion, we have these properties like we have in Asana. And what happens now when I add something like... Um, I know, it's not very thoughtful what I make here. Make this a select column. Okay, and we will also create a progress in progress. Um, not started, completed. And now you see it already, I can add views and I can add the board view as we had before. And as soon I create this board view, it will make the same thing as we had before. You see in progress, not started, completed not started in progress so it doesn't matter I can just drag it over and it's reordered that's no issue at all we can hide the field in the front so now we have exactly the same as we had here you can also delete this so it looks all the same not started in progress and backlog let's just delete this to see really all the same so we can drag over all the tasks here as well and here in Asana and to do it. So we have the same thing. So the big difference now is really the fact that I can go here and group by files or tags. So it's called files. Let's go to the dashboard. So it's here files. Let's make this um, progress. And you see already a change to in progress from the other sections. And as soon as I open the board view, it will stay at tag one, two, three, or I can go to progress and I save this as a view. I name this tag view and I name this one um, progress. And now we are in progress. And when I go to tag view, it switches to tag view, depending on what I grouped here. So that is really nice. So also when I add some um, a picture or something in here, so I just let's search something. For example, I go here, I will just go here, copy image and paste it here and that's it. And as soon as it's in here, I can now go to properties and say card preview, show page content and it will show me the picture I have in here. I don't see anything like this for this. Why? I mean, it's not necessary. But as I said, it is not a fully fledged project management thing that where you have all the information in there. And in here, you can add a cover image manually or when you add a image in here, it will add it automatically to the card as well. So let's see if this is working in here as well. Let's say, so where can I add content here? I can just add it to the comments add comment and now we have the picture in here save it but there's nothing it just shows that I have, I have a comment here but there are no pictures and if I, if you're a visual person like I am then this is something really important so do you, do you really distinguish this so let's make this a prioritization and you see okay this shows it is just no big difference to the normal task view or to the normal list view except that you have it here in sections and now you have it in boards. And as I said, I already complained on Asana, that's too limiting that I have to, you know, I have only these sections for my board view, 
Notion is the way to go when you really want to be flexible when it comes to board views or ClickUp. So in ClickUp, I have the same thing. You see it here. I showed you this in the Inner Circle membership webinar already, how I uh, manage my video editing. And you see here, I have different sections as well, which is properties as well of these tasks. And when I go to group by video status, I can also group by due date, for example, or I can, you know, it's also already overdue today, tomorrow. So I have to update these actually and uh, or by a signee and so on. So that's really nice to have. And this is the reason why the big upgrade they were talking about for so long about these boards is not pretty underwhelming, if you ask me. Um, I love to do this to bits because it has still the best integration with my Google Calendar and it is my go-to personal task manager, but I won't use the boards at all. I'm using Notion or other tools for this purpose. Um, maybe just as a as a comment in the end, um, something Notion is actually missing compared to, because we're talking about bots anyway, Notion is missing compared to ClickUp. ClickUp provides me automations. And I really hope that Notion will bring this as well. So for example, when I move this over here, it would just assign my editor because it's an editing automatically it will assign some subtasks she needs to work on and um, i have recurring tasks all this and as long as this is missing um a notion notion will won't be uh, my go-to project manager put it this way it is a knowledge management system for me and i will give you an in-depth walk through my own knowledge management system that I built up for my paperless movement and my personal uh, life. And um, if you want to learn more about this, stay tuned, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and I'll catch you up next time.